Now, to add or edit pivot tables, this is very important to narrow down a large data set or see relationships between data points. For example, uh, we can use the pivot table to analyze which salesperson brought the most revenue for a specific month. So to work on this data, we have to make a copy of this data, then save to the appropriate folder, and we're going to name this one as pivot table. Then make a copy. So we will be working with this data. We have equipment log, customer list. Okay, we can just delete this one. Okay, and the t-shirt form. Now, on our Google Sheet, you have to select the cells with source data that we want to use. It is very important that each column needs a header. So we have headers here, ID, number header, type, equipment detail, check out, check in, and check out by. So these are our column headers. Now, again, we have to select the cells. Okay, to be applied with the pivot table. Next, in the menu at the top, you have to click insert, then pivot table. Okay. So we have to use the new sheet. Okay, with the range of data from A1 to F30, then create. So, this is the pivot table. Okay. I mean, this is the pivot um, table sheet that we have created. Okay. If it is not yet opened, we have to click on the pivot table sheet. Okay, like on this one. Then in the side panel, we have rows, columns, values, and filters. Next to rows or columns, we can click on this add button, then choose the value. Okay. For example, we have to choose the value of ID number. Okay, please be noted that sometimes you'll see recommended pivot tables based on the data that we choose. So to add pivot table under suggested, you have to choose the pivot table. Okay, so like here in ascending or descending order. For columns, okay, we can add a type. Okay, we have just to choose on what um, row or column just to see on the value. Okay, so we have to click on the values also with check in. Okay, now we can summarize the values by like sum, count, 
Now here, the count of, I mean the sum, okay, let us say for example, for the count, we have the count of camera per um, ID number. Or if you want to choose the okay the rows for I mean the rows you have to select the rows which is the equipment detail okay Okay, ascending order. The columns still. Okay, so here for the equipment details, the count with um. Okay, the count of equipments with this detail is three. Okay, with 15 inches EDI smart pad, we have one. So we can see that, okay. Okay, so count of check-in for these equipment details. And you can create another pivot table. Like, for example, this is for the count of equipment details per check-in. Like here. Okay, so using the pivot table for the equipment details, counting the number of check-ins. Now for this data set, we have to add a pivot table for this to calculate fields with sum or the custom formula. So here we have to select the range of cells and insert the pivot table okay we will insert to the new sheet In this case we have pivot table number seven under rows we have to include the division okay so there are two divisions here the east and west and we want to show also the rows of subdivision okay under East, we have subdivision 1, 2, 3, and 4. And West, we have 1, 2, and 3. And we want to know the values for the rows, division and subdivision. So, the values for uh, in number of units and the price per unit. Okay, so values for price per unit. So there are two values here specified, the sum of number of units and the price per unit. But we have to alter the summarized by of price per unit by having the average. Okay, so here... Okay, we can see 
the sum on the number of units per subdivision. And for the total, we can see also that there are average of $10 for the east division. And for the west, we have $11. And again, submit the URL of this file for your submission. So, you can share this file. By default, this is restricted by you. So, you can set the settings to be seen by anyone with the link. Copy. And done. So, submit the file here. 